So dark circles, let's talk about them. Growing up, I've always had severe dark circles. Even on good days that I have a lot of sleep, I will still have these really deep crevices under my eyes which casts dark shadows, making me look really tired all the time. So over the years, I've learned to use makeup to conceal them to make myself look a little more presentable. So there will be two sections in this video. In the first portion, I'm gonna show you guys how I use concealers to really mask the darkness under the eyes and how I neutralize them, as well as how I keep them stay put throughout the day. Now, in the second portion of the video, I've interviewed Dr. Ho from Leah Surgery to give us a little bit more background on the scientific causes of dark circles, the types of them, and what are some of the methods and procedures we can look into if makeup alone does not suffice. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here are my dark circles on a good day. You can see that I have these crevices under the eyes which make them look kind of indented and dark and just hollow and lots of texture in that area. So if you take a look as well, there is also yellowness and slight bit of brown and some green. <laughs> so lots of things happening there. So to cover that all up, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer today. What I do is I paint kind of a triangular area underneath the eye and I skip the area right underneath the eyelid. So if you can see here, I left a little space there and you want to focus on where the trough is the darkest. So where your circles are the deepest, you want to concentrate the concealer there. And then I'm going to just blend them out. So what we're doing here essentially is we're brightening the darkest portions underneath our eyes. So the deepest portion of your dark circles is where you want to concentrate the concealer. If you brighten the darkest area underneath your eyes, it'll kind of even everything out making your dark circles look less apparent. So this is what I do first. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the banana powder from Ben Nye. This kind of has a yellow undertone to it. When I put this over the concealer, not only does it brighten, but it neutralizes any darkness that's left over. So if you can see here, my concealer was a little bit kind of starkly white, but once I put that banana powder over it, it makes it look skin-like. This powder will also set your concealer so that it will last all day. Let's get a look of another before shot compared to after. It's really a huge difference in person and I swear by this technique. So give it a try and let me know if it works for you guys too. My favorite concealer of all time is Tarte Shape Tape, but this guy could be a little expensive as it's like $27 a pop, and here it is on the left swatched against four drugstore concealers that I also keep in my rotation, so they're just as good in many aspects compared to the Shape Tape, but they're not quite the same. I'm going to put details regarding each concealer in my blog post with link down below for you to consider, and here are the swatches of the four from left to right. All right, so that was how I use concealer to conceal my dark circles and concealers have been a lifesaver in my life because without them, I would look like a zombie every single day. Now let's move on to the second portion of the video. I've interviewed Dr. Ho from Leah Surgery and she's given us some more in-depth information regarding dark circles. There are five main reasons for dark circles. First one is because the skin under the eyelid is the thinnest. So that's why when it's contrasted against the lower eye area where the skin is a little thicker, it could look even more hollow. Could also expose a lot of the underlying capillaries causing dark shadows. The biggest thing is to be hydrated, have a healthy lifestyle, eating a lot of vitamin K containing leafy vegetables. There are cosmetic products that contain vitamin K, which is something that will increase circulation and that may help with the under eye area. The second main cause of dark circles would be hyperpigmentation. If you press down on your dark circles and this area does not lighten, hyperpigmentation is probably your concern. Some of the products that you can use to alleviate this issue would be products containing topical ingredients such as hydroquinone, licorice, and kojic acid. Now, to treat deeper discoloration issues and hyperpigmentation issues, you might want to consider some laser, and this is something that Dr. Ho's clinic can provide for you. I will also link their information down below. The eye area is very delicate. With prolonged makeup application as well as rubbing of the eye area due to allergies and etc., we can make the skin underneath the eyes even thinner than it already is. So 
if your main cause for dark circles is of this sort, then minimizing trauma to this area is very important. We can use a retinoid cream underneath the eye to promote collagen growth, and that's something I've been doing for the past three months or so, and I feel like my skin, my under eye area has gotten better, but I could just be dreaming. <laughs> so just remember, if you're going to be using a retinoid, make sure to also double up the moisturization. Allergies can cause the blood vessels underneath the eyes to dilate, which can worsen dark circles. To treat this, always remember to take your allergy medicines, so antihistamines are your best friend if this is your concern. Like I mentioned before, I have genetic dark circles where the hollowness under my eyes are so deep that it casts a dark shadow constantly under my eyes. Because this is a genetic cause and there's nothing really topically that you can do to um, change the structure of your face, uh, there are some cosmetic procedures that you can consider to plump up this area, one of which is hyaluronic acid filler injections. Dr. Hull recommended two types of injections for this area. Uh, the first one is Juvederm Volbella and second one is Restylane Refine. So because this area is so delicate, you don't want to inject anything in this area that could lump up, causing it to look even more unsmooth. If you're looking for something a little more long-lasting instead of hyaluronic acid fillers, you can opt for a fat transfer where they take fat from your own body and inject it into this area to give it a more plump look. The last category that she mentioned, which I also fall under, I'm just so unfortunate that every single category basically applies to me. So I'm just like ultimately screwed in every single way. But anyways, puffiness under the eye, it could be caused by a few things. It could either be caused by lack of sleep, salt and spicy food intake, and alcohol intake. So these things basically lead to water retention and exacerbate swelling. So when you're swelling, obviously you're gonna get puffiness <laughs> under the eyes. Then some of the things you can look into are cold compresses, sleeping with mild head elevation. And there is a caffeine solution I've been using from The Ordinary that is supposed to decrease puffiness under the eyes. Now, I've been using it kind of inconsistently for the last few months. I can't really say whether or not it's been a holy grail or a must-have item, but sometimes when I'm extremely puffy, I do feel like it gives some sort of alleviation, but for the most part, I don't feel like my puffiness is so severe that that product makes a significant difference. But if you are someone with severe puffiness under the eye, that is a product that you can look into to see whether it would help. That about completes my video on dark circles. Hopefully it was informative and helpful for you guys. And I will link the full interview and response with Dr. Ho down below for you guys to read through if you're interested in that. I will also leave her information down below for you to consider. I'm also going to leave the five concealers I've mentioned today in the information box below. You can pick the best one or best ones for your situation that works well for you. And lastly, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next one.